close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. Buzz. Welcome back to my channel, Tara Gay Nicole here. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate you. On this channel, we do budgeting, weight loss updates, and we are currently saving to buy our first home. We, as in me. I am currently, I say we because they're all the community over here. We're currently saving to buy our first home. So if you're interested in any of that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you just like this one video and that's it for you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So let's get right into it. Today, we're going to be talking about weight loss. I've got my little handy dandy sweat, smile, repeat, um tracker here now i used to use this heavy duty but i haven't recently i'm not sure if i'm going to start but this is where i put my notes for this video so that i could stay on task because i'm a i'm a rambler okay so these are my 2021 goals as far as my health and fitness go i have broken these goal ups goal up these goals up into four different categories and it's exercise nutrition sleep and stress um, which I think are the basis of all health plans. So let me just tell you overall for 2020, my goal is 50 pounds. That is one pound per week, um, four pounds per month. And uh, I think it's doable. I am currently at, I forgot, but it will be on the screen here. I weighed in January 1st. I want to say I was at 283 if I remember correctly, but it will be on the screen. So 50 pounds from 283 is, I don't want to do math, let me tell you right now, 233. Ooh, that would be amazing. Me at 233 is a different kind of whole nother person, okay? Y'all ain't ready, okay? Um, so weigh in is going to be every Monday. I was doing every Sunday, but then I feel like when I do it Sunday morning, I cheat <laughs> the rest of Sunday and I'm like, oh, I have all week to catch up. So I'm doing my same Monday morning weigh-ins as well as I will be doing a review of each of these sections with you to see where I need to have improvement if I hit all my sections and how I'm doing. Um, if you watch my budgeting videos, my thought also for this year is to go ahead and make sure I do a monthly checkup on all of my 2021 goals to make sure I stay on track because checking in the beginning of the year and then checking again in the end of the year, it does not work for me. But let me get back on track. Um, so the first section is exercise. My goals for exercise is three to five times a week and making a plan to intentionally move during the day. I have a very sedentary job where I sit all day and I'm on the computer. So I'm going to have to figure out some challenges where there, um, I do a couple squats every hour or I just do some jumping jacks every hour. I'll figure it out. And as I do my weekly check-ins, I will let you know. I was going to start this week, which is the week of the 4th, which is when everybody would start. But I think I'm really going to start next week um, because I'm contemplating starting the Daniel Fast starting on the 8th, which would be 21 days. And y'all know I'm, well, maybe you don't know. I'm starting to launch another series on my channel called 21 Days to Life. And if I start the 8th, I think that would be 21 days till the end of the month doing the Daniel Fast. It will help with my nutrition. Haven't decided, but you guys will know. I'll keep you posted. Um, as far as exercise goes, for me, it does not have to be like uh, going to a gym or a video on YouTube or just a DVD. It could be anything. If you go outside for a walk, um, my goal is 30 minutes or more. Okay, so nutrition. Moving on to nutrition, we have I am already a faster. I've been doing that for over a year now. I enjoy fasting. It's my jam. Um, I have been doing longer fasts, which I haven't really been able to lose weight doing that, but in the same instance, I will say I don't eat well. So it probably has nothing to do with the fasting and more to do with the fact that I don't eat well. Um, but I've decided for 2021, I'm going to do a minimum of a 16-8 fast. I normally do 19-5 or 24, but I'm going to do 16-8. I'm going to allow my body to be hungry when it's hungry. And I'm going to do two or one meal a day, usually two. Um, no 
soda. So that is my one no. I don't like to give myself no's because I feel like in my brain it makes me want it more when I tell my body no. So, but this is a no. It's a no soda. I have been getting a little carried away with the soda lately. Soda when I eat fast food, just soda, oh, I need to stay up, I'm working late, just go grab some Coca-Cola, nah, 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 we, we're gonna have to stop that, that's not, that, get some sleep, sis, that ain't gonna work. So, um, up my water intake, I have this bottle that I just keep reusing over and over again, but honestly, you guys, I used to be so good at drinking water, I, this is my first bottle of this, there was a time where I'd be on bottle number three, it's two o'clock, I'd be on bottle number three by now, okay? So I need to reevaluate, like it's almost like taking myself back to the basics. I need to reevaluate where I am because I need to up my water intake. Um, also, speaking of upping intakes, vegetables. Sis, I'm not a vegetable girl. But there was a time where, and I'm very picky with certain vegetables. I don't like everything. I don't like zucchini. I don't like um, asparagus. Well, I shouldn't say I don't like asparagus. I've never really tried it. Like, I've never tried asparagus. I don't like mushrooms. Is that a vegetable? I don't know. But I like string beans and cucumbers and regular lettuce and kale. And I was on a spinach kick for a really long time there. So there's stuff that I like. I just need to make sure I'm eating it. You know what I mean? I think the Daniel Fast will help. Okay, and working on my underlying health issues. So I feel like a lot of times we're so stressed, and I think this is what's happening to me with my weight loss plan. I feel as though I am so busy trying to lose weight, fasting, and trying to figure out what to eat and what not to eat and how many calories and blah, blah, blah. But I have, I've had multiple surgeries for fibroids then I had to have a hysterectomy and my body is probably and that was like a year or two ago and you don't know how long it really takes your body to heal from these things and I'm sure my body is going through a lot of healing process it's like ma'am we can't be trying to lose weight and heal you at the same time like we could but one thing at a time please and then also my underlying health issue of blood pressure I have high blood pressure which I take medicine for and I think for me this year it's going to be more I would like to lose the five pounds but I think I'm going to take baby steps and focus on more of what can help me control my blood pressure outside of medicine and get my blood pressure in order so that I can get off the medicine. And then once the underlying health issue of high blood pressure is handled, then I can focus more on losing fat or building muscle. That's just my mindset for 2021 and probably going forward. And in that process, I'm going to have to find a new PCP. Um, if you're new here, I used to live in New Jersey and I moved to Georgia to live with family so I could go ahead and save for a down payment on a home. And in so, I've lost my primary care physician, clearly, gynecologist, all of them. So I do think it is a priority that you get a physical checkup every single year as well as a gyno if you have, if you're female, and you need to go for those. And so one of the top priorities for me is to find a primary care physician so that I can go and have them reevaluate where my blood pressure is or if I have any other underlying issues that could be stopping me from um, losing this weight or just being healthy in general. So that is on my list of goals to make sure I do that as well. <clears throat> Sec, the third category is sleep. So sleep, I need to get seven to eight hours of sleep. I'm not one of those people that functions very well on four to five hours. I get cranky. I get hungrier, easier. I'm irritable. I'm moody. I need my seven or eight hours of sleep. I'm such a happier person with seven to eight hours of sleep, girl. It's just, it's, it is what it is. Um, I need to figure out a rhythm and a nighttime routine because I feel like with sleep, although you can get seven to eight hours of sleep, I think it's a good idea to start getting that seven to eight hours of sleep at the same time every day, if possible. When you get yourself into a good rhythm, your circadian rhythms are better, and so you sleep better at night. So that's something else I need to work on, a nighttime routine, as whether it, which I want to include meditation for about five to ten minutes before bed. One time I was really stressed out or something yeah I was really stressed out one night and my best friend said to me well why don't you just meditate really quick before you go to bed don't go to bed mad and I did a five minute meditation I think it was some of the best sleep I had gotten in a long time so I have that same five minute meditation which I found on YouTube by the way uh, I think it was good full five minute meditation and I do it now and again when I feel like it but I think I would like it to be more of a part of my normal nightly routine to do a five to 10 minute meditation right before when I'm going to sleep. It almost kind of puts me to sleep. Um, and then another thing I need to remember is I am a water drinker for the most part. Do not drink water 
like an hour before bed because for me and I don't know if it's because I'm getting old if I drink water an hour before bed or closer hour later <laughs> before bed I gotta get up in the middle of the night to pee okay I like four o'clock I'm popped up I gotta go to the bathroom five o'clock I gotta go to the bathroom now I normally wake up around six I don't want to get up any earlier to go to the bathroom so I'm gonna have to stop drinking water so late because I want to it's it's disturbing my rest to have to get up and go to the bathroom you know what I'm saying so that's just something that's particular to myself Last but not least is the category of stress so stress um, nobody likes it <laughs> um, nobody wants it and honestly I think I don't stress often but if I let comparison get to me or why is this person doing better than me? And it doesn't happen to me often, but I tell you what, it does happen to me, it hits me hard. And I start to second guess everything. And I keep trying to tell myself, we are not doing the language of fear, which is what if, we're doing the language of faith, which is even if. So faith over fear this year, man. So I'm trying so hard and I try to vocalize because a lot of time I keep it inside. So luckily I've got some great friends, shout out to Yanni. And um, why can't I think of your name right now? You girl. Really? I just had an interview. Crystal. Yanni and Crystal for always listening to me when I have these moments. But I'm trying to have them less and less. So I am going to start meditating two to five times a week. And this is nothing really long. And this is not the nighttime meditation. This is like a maybe morning meditation, midday meditation for about two to five times a week. So it doesn't have to be every day. But I want to start getting into habit of meditating. Now, all of these things may not happen implemented all at once. They might be implemented over time during like a 21 days to life. And then hopefully once they are implemented, they will be continued throughout the year. That is what I was trying to say. So others outside of um, meditating, reading is something else that I will be doing to de-stress. Reading takes me out of my own life and my own situation. And actually a lot of times will give me um, something else to learn or acquire. So then that keeps my mind busy and moves me off of my own problems. Um, being creative. So having YouTube videos to do and uh, decorating cash envelopes and getting back into my Poshmark stores and Etsy's and things like that, that will kind of help me de-stress as well because it's my normal job that keeps me busy and stressed and not as stressed really, to be honest, just keeps me busy. But um, those are ways for me personally that I like to de-stress. Leave, leave a comment down below and some ways that you like to de-stress. Maybe I can consider adding that to my list. Um, get the proper amount of sleep. <laughs> it will help you sleep. See how that all, see how that all ties in? Getting the proper amount of sleep, eating properly will all help with staying stress-free. Um, cause you don't have to stress about health issues and going to the doctor and you don't feel good. That stuff stresses you out. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm tired. I don't want to have the energy. Stresses you out. <laughs> um, so do those things as well. Another thing I would like to do to just keep stress-free is journal. I have started journaling. It's usually my prayers and thoughts and then also Bible study. But I've noticed that it actually makes me a calmer person. I have stopped. I did not write. And it just hitting me as I'm doing this now because I'm having a weird day where everything is getting on my nerve. But I just realized I haven't written in my journal for two to two days now. And that is pro and this would make day three. And that is not happening today because clearly I need to write some things out. And since I'm a type of person who does not like confrontation... I am better off writing my feelings out on paper. So journal journaling definitely will help me. And um, getting off social media. <laughs> Just like I said, with comparing yourself to others, it is a thief of joy. It's not the thing to do, but it's very easy to do when you're on social media, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Do people still do Snapchat? Y'all know what I'm talking. TikTok, whatever. Whatever. I didn't even have TikTok, okay? I just know about it. But stay off of the social media. If you feel yourself getting weird like that, stay off the social media outlets. Or if you, it's a part of your job and, you know, like, it's a part of my... My, I don't kind of hustle, so I don't really make that much money. But like my creative outlet, only limit yourself a certain amount of time. You know what I mean? To be on there. Don't be on there all day. Um, and help others. It's very weird that when you're stressed out, when you take the time to help someone else, you no longer are worried about your problem. You're too busy trying to help them solve their own problem to be worried about what is going on and going wrong in your life. And by the time you turn around, you have no problem. Or you realize your problem is not really a problem. And another thing about a problem is 
try changing the way that you ask yourself what you can and cannot do. So for instance, when you're saying, so when you are going to try and figure out a solution or make a decision on something that stresses you out, maybe instead of saying, I want to do X and Y, but I can only do X and I can't do Y or vice versa. I can only do Y and I can only need X and I need to make a choice. Maybe sometimes you need to rephrase it as I want to do X and Y and your answer or decision making process should be how can I do X and Y? We always limit ourselves to what we think we can do. Try to think outside of the box and see how you can make both things happen. I mean, for me personally right now, I want to say for an iPad, but I also have the same things for my house. And right now I'm literally thinking through on a daily basis, how can I do both? Like, I don't want to make that choice. I don't want to make that decision and I'm a bad decision maker. So a lot of times I have to figure out like, how can I do both? Is it possible to do both? Do I just start another little extra part-time hustle? How do I make something else better that I can bring more income in? Just a little side note, that went a little left, but y'all know what I'm saying. And last but not least, mind your business. And I say that to you as I say that to me. Mind your business, girl. Mind your business. A lot of times we're stressed out about things that have nothing to do with us nothing to do with us even when it has something to do with us what someone else thinks about you is none of your business the only thing you're worried about is what you think about you and what you are doing what other people are doing over there and they're making noise over here and they're doing the focus on yourself and stop worrying about other people stop worrying about other people worry about your stuff and you will have less stress mind your business and i say that with the utmost amount of love because i'm saying it to myself as well to remind your business Okay, because a lot of times when you think you're trying to help somebody, you're not or they don't want it. So moving right along. So overall, we have 50 pounds to lose. We have um, one pound a week, pretty much. We have weekly weigh-ins and weekly check-ins on Mondays where I tell you my weight and how I did on these four things. We're going to give myself some grace, okay, because everything is not perfect. This is the week I was supposed to start. Psh, girl, bye. Mm -mm, this week is not perfect. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, we are going to get it together, though. Um, give yourself some grace and don't go all cray cray. Oh, my God. I'm so tired. Don't give up. Do not give up. You can do it. It might not get done immediately, but no change is easy. Change takes time. Give yourself the time and the grace. Do you hear yourself, Tara? Do you listen? Are you listening to your own? Is that? Yes, I'm listening. Okay. Um, and like I said, there will be many 21 day challenges. Um, that will hopefully be, that will become as 21 day challenges that we'll do one at a time to incorporate each of these things. And then at the end of the year, hopefully they will be a lifelong habit. And last but not least this year, I'm super into manifestation and, uh, affirmation. So I will be, I already have healthy affirmations like I am healthy or I eat healthy. I am healthy and I eat healthy. And I say to you, if you are on a health journey, get yourself some affirmations. Okay. You are beautiful where you are. My, I am beautiful at just the way I am. I am healthy. I am um, athlete, whatever you need to say to get yourself in the right frame of mind, please do so. I totally believe in affirmations. The other day I caught myself feeling doubtful about something and my affirmation kicked right in was like, I am magnificent. And I was like, oh girl, you know that. Girl, you right, you right. What was I tripping about? <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they really do work. The more you say them on a daily basis, your mind believes what you tell it. So tell it good things. If you wouldn't talk to somebody that way, don't talk to yourself that way. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope the information was um, good to you and you were able to get something from this. If you are on a health journey, definitely comment down below what is your goal for weight loss this year. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember, order to be great, you have to be grateful. And I'm super duper grateful for you faith over fear this year.